In a perfect world, all the music recorded for the last 50 years would have been recorded on multi-track tapes designed to last for centuries and stored in underground vaults. Unfortunately, we don't live in a perfect world. So a lot of these recordings have been done on two-track or three-track tapes, and some of the tapes have longevity problems. Now, why shouldn't some of these musical gems see the light of day again, maybe even in surround formats? If you have the original source tapes and the budget, the best solution, of course, is to do a complete surround remix. But there could be several considerations pushing you to do a high-quality upconversion. For example, the original was done on two-track or three-track, or the original tapes are in very bad condition. Maybe you just don't have the budget or the time to do it. A high-quality conversion can be required, and there can also be an artistic consideration to push you to do upconversion rather than remixing. Take a track like The Boxer or Strawberry Fields. Who would want to retouch those classic tracks, add new effects or different mix uh, perspective to those classic tracks? You'd rather do an up conversion and respect the original, wouldn't you? So when you're in a situation where an up conversion is indicated, TC created the high resolution processor Unwrap. Because up conversion is not a one size fits all process, Unwrap offers a palette of options to complement different types of program thereby giving as much creative freedom as possible to the engineer striving to translate the intentions behind the original stereo mix to 5.1. Consequently, Unwrap has become the industry standard for upconversion. The principle is very simple. The better your stereo mix, the better your surround mix. Unwrap uses the mono part of the signal, the correlated part of the signal, and the uncorrelated stereo part of the signal to feed the different channels of the 5.1 surround mix. Unwrap puts up a user-friendly interface that allows you to adjust your up conversion with a few decisive little parameters. Now, the good thing about it is that it's downwards compatible. If you have your 5.1 mix that is down mixed automatically at the end user's equipment, then the result will sound very close to the original stereo mix because nothing much is added to it. Now, while you're doing your up conversion, you can use the toolbox to automatically check the compatibility with the stereo down mix because with the toolbox you can do an LCRS, stereo or even mono down mix and so you can compare the original with your up and then down mixed signal. If you want, bass management can be used to extract the point 0.1 channels and different contour and envelopment styles are available to cater for different applications like cinema, music, dialogue based material or sound effects. Unwrap is not and was never meant to be a backstab to the ambitious engineer who does surround recording and surround mixing. But in these times of limited budgets and limited acceptance of the surround formats, Unwrap is almost a must-have tool. Because you can offer your client a quick and dirty approach, just take your stereo mix, unwrap it to surround, or the real thing, a complete surround mix with all the time and all the budget in the world to do a nice job. In the meantime, we can keep the momentum of surround going with Unwrap until it becomes a widely accepted format or a standard, for example, for the new Blu-ray discs, where we have the possibility to put surround sound, and then, of course, everybody will have to do surround. Unwrap is available for the System 6000, the DB4 and the DB8, the Power Core and Pro Tools HD. Unwrap 2, with even more contour styles, and new presets is available only for System 6000.